fellas, today's a good day. So much juicy content. 1v1 ring competitive content creator stuff. Vote kicking is now a real thing. And then orange team. Orange team is now an actual thing. This was a meme um, on April Fools, but it's a real thing because me and Ben I said orange team would be a cool content creator thing. You could spawn a little ghost guys. I can make it foggy or dark, make everything slow motion, and it even affects the sound, so that is actually pretty cool. That crisp slow motion, man. And there is the all new shooting range. Yes, sir. You don't need to join a private server uh, and kill your friend a lot. Nope. You can make your own private server by yourself and just practice. And that is really cool, dude. I like this a lot. This is really cool. So the cool thing about the shooting range, I don't know if this is a joke, but Mighty Base Play tweeted out, honestly, this update was just for John Rawls with a heart. And look. I'm here to get... Okay, yeah, sure. Dude! Oh my god! One of the role devs said that he was thinking about that when the concept started. And another gave a comment how like at how excited I was. Because the thing is that... For literal years, dude, I've been on on Arsenal, and every single new gun update they had, I would spend hours on the green base place cycling through weapons just to get those new guns through the pool of all the guns. And I think this thing makes that much more easier, dude. I, I want to showcase some of the new weapons here are the dull LCRs. You also might notice the little skin. That's a content creator skin. I can actually give one away to a random player every time I'm in a server, so I will be doing that. And I think Ben Ice and Chaser Rooney have this as well. Anyways, these are revolvers. They do not one shot up close, so they are not exactly the Windicator. They do not one shot on the head either. They are a kind of a two shot kill, so this can be a bit of a letdown, but they do spam pretty fast, so it isn't that bad. There's also now a cool guitar. Check it out. That is pretty cool, and there's also a Tomfer as well, which you can play your own little song if you wanted to. But this guitar is pretty cool. It deals splash damage. It doesn't work on, on the dummies right now, but it has no ma no magazine, so you can just spam it, hold it down, and if you right click, you will actually shoot yourself and fly up in the air. That's pretty cool. So you don't need the ground to fly up. You can literally just keep doing that until you die. There's also some new Glocks. They're pretty much just a reskin, like G19X. I think it's just a G17. Pretty much the same stuff as last time. It's just a rename. G21 is slightly more damage, though. It's a two-shot kill and a three-shot on the body. So it's just slight, it's just slightly the beefier version, except that um, it has a tad a bit less bullets. So this is probably the best pistol to go, to go for. It has no spread in either, so it's a pretty good Glock. This is the MG36, and it has a 100 round drum mag, so that's always fun. It basically has almost no spread and a very fast fire rate. And up close, headshot is 67, and then at the, at the further ranges, it's about 33. So it's a three tap, it seems like at longer ranges, and then a two tap on the head at the shorter ranges. Body up close, it's a two shot, and then body at far is about a four shot there's also this weird cone launcher thingy if you hold left click it'll spam fire a lot and they deal massive damage and you press right click once it'll shoot all of them at once doing like a little shotgun burst and it can deal massive damage to a single target but yeah a really cool looking thing this is the new scar l not to be confused with the scar h which is a different thing this one has a scope this one does not and has more ammo up close on the head it's gonna be actually a three shot and up close at the body a three shot so it's just worth it to go for the body but at longer ranges it's gonna be a four shot on the head wow 
and then for the body it's gonna be a five shot the damage is low but the spread is very low as well so it's pretty much a beam it's just a tad a bit of, of the low damage side but it does make up for it thanks to its low spread there's also a m249 looks like the e1 but it's just different spread is kind of bad but but up at close is going to be a really good gun to use don't think it's going to one shot ahead nope it has to be a two shot but yeah pretty fun looking weapon and very fun to use oh, a model 635 thinks it's just a nine mil version of the m4 platform but 32 bullets and up close headshot only deals 45 damage so that's so a three shot kill and then for the body it's gonna be a three shot so up close it's just worth it to go for the, for the body now let's go and take a look at the head at longer mm, that's a four shot kill wait what yeah four shot kill dude the spread isn't that great but the fire rate is very fast but this seems like it would be a terrible choice for longer ranges so and then the last one is just a giant trash can and it 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 just one shots hey rove nice game hey can I, can I, nice clickbait hey chase get a load of your views uh there's also a couple new swords as well this, this little sippy cup i want to show you guys the emo so there's a bunch of little dance moves or little music ones that you can use look at this you can click your thing and then go to town. Yeah. Anyways, I want to try out the new ELO rank crap. So basically, this is your rank. And I know the GI looks like complete garbage, but the the main thing works, dude. So I'm going to find a match, and I got this guy randomly. I'm going to ready up. And he, re and he ready up, too. And then, yeah, we're going to uh, play ag uh, against each other, dude. By the way, this voting stuff doesn't matter. It does not work. It's just it's just there because this is like a placeholder, I guess. So this is map chosen, and it is always going to be competitive. The new one, because the new one, you get points based on headshots and body shots. So body shots are worth 4, headshots are worth 10. And then look at the middle right. You see this little next thing? Yeah, you can tell what gun you got next, but there's like a little uh, empty bar right there. You got to fill up with kills. So I'm going to try to get a headshot. And I instantly got 10 points and I upgraded it to the next gun as well. I'm going to try to go for a body shot and I got a body shot and I only got four points and I only got one point for the right side. It filled up only halfway. So yeah, there we go. Now I just ranked up my gun and yeah, this is pretty much how comp works. It's, it's advised to go for mostly headshots though, unless you can because it's like kind of hard to do with with the gun you have because some guns they have really garbage spread you got aim or what because god damn yeah that's pretty much it uh beer beep yeah he just left the server and i won that match because if you leave mid game uh you will lose and the other person wins so i just won that you can never choose a map by the way uh this is the matrix map uh yeah sometimes it does get boring though because you just wait for him to pop out or you have like a really bad gun like this is bad for for close quarters and he just bodies you because he has just si just simply a better gun as made for that type of range sometimes it is kind of a one-sided uh fight in some scenarios and it could just constantly do that and become kind of boring you're stuck with the oh he left <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's about it. The Wolverine one thing is pretty fun. I'll probably play that a lot on my out. And shout out to all my tech supporters. Really appreciate the support. And bigger shout out to Tax Evader J, C4, M Mechanic MK, I mean MC, Swinzy, Plaza was taken, Nameless, Jess Harrison, R Unsettlement, T T Q U T X T T Q. I L Q R Y and Psycho Bug for becoming super big boys. Really appreciate your support, guys. And uh, as always, have a good day.